Shalom everybody, shalom everybody. It is Leon the Servant back here with another video on this Yah blessed day. Welcome to good people. The topic at hand is it's go time. A lot of people need permission to shine. So here it is. We are 24 days into January. Where are you? What's your trajectory for the first quarter? Let's take a moment for brutal, honest examination. Have you given up on those things that you have put in front of you to change your lifestyle? To grow, to learn, to rebuild some of your old passions. It's time to lock in and to move forward. Right? <clears throat> so, let's really talk about it real quick. It is go time. We tend to forget the importance of actually doing. We take a lot of time planning things out. We take a lot of time on getting other people's opinions. But we do not take time to sit back, think about what we're going to do, and then execute. You know, in the book, it says in Proverbs 29 and 18, where well, there's no vision, the people perish, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. See, it says the vision, and you shall perish without one. But he that works in that vision, in that understanding, he's happy. See, people have to also do the work. You also have to do the work, right? It says, he that has no rule over his spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. You have no defense from the elements of life, of opposition. Because you have no self-discipline. You put things down for this year, how is your quarter trajectory looking? Are you on path, on task, on the path of progression, or are you regressing? Are you hitting those goals spiritually, physically, mentally? Honestly. In Proverbs 16 and 32, it says this, he that is slow to anger is better than the, the mighty. He that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city. So, you know, when you're all hyped up on passion, the mighty person who did not account for the things to come, if you act rashly, he is worse than a man who sits down and calculates. And the man who sits down and calculate is much mightier than a man who would take a city. It's very easy for us to try to impose our will upon others. But how well can you impose your will upon yourself? You know, you give anyone a life or death situation and you can practically make them do whatever. But with your own words, with your own thoughts... Your own desires, can you actually push to the goal that you have in mind? I was once told it takes more strength to create than to destroy. But, you know, that statement is very true in the aspect of creating new habits and also destroying old habits. There's no longer time to be stuck and transition. No, more, no longer time to be stuck in the past. It's time to go forward. To look onward. The things that we have in front of us are imminent or evident. So how are you going to move forward? What steps are you going to put in front of you to make sure that you ascertain these things which are dire for your soul survival? For your 
inner child not to die, for your vision not to perish? What talents and gifts are you wanting to use before they are exploited by someone else for their own gain? Or they die in a grave with you? You know, it's very easy for us to get caught up in the wind of today's struggles, of the things that are holding us back. But nine times out of ten, it's our perspective. It's how we move and operate in these times that actually is the difference between prosperity and scarcity. You know? And if we do not start acting with the power that we actually have and shifting and creating the life that we want, then someone else is going to shift, create, and manifest the life that they want for you. It's go time. Everyone else is already sprinting. They have their agendas, their motives. What's your motive? What's your agenda? What's your inspiration? And is it less worthy than others? I think not. But others are putting in the time, effort, energy into making theirs a reality. What are you doing? You know, every once in a while we need someone to punch us in the gut to make sure that we are actually moving forward. Moving onward. We already passed 2020, so we should already have the vision. We're in 2022. We understand what's going on around us. Stop acting brand new. There's ways to maneuver around these obstacles. Don't use circumstance as a reason to legitimize your failure. Because there's been others in the same exact circumstance and thrived. Stop putting everything outside your reach that's actually something you can control and everything that you can't control, stop trying to control that. This world has us shifted on what we really think that we have control over. But when we realize what we do have in our possession, complete discretion on how we move forward, then that's how we can actually control the things us, around us, moving to actually empower that we have, the authority that we have. But you can only do that if you're ready to grow. You can only do that if you're ready to glow. So I give you permission today on this Yah blessed day because you are alive. You are breathing. You have eyes and ears, hands, feet. You can work. Which means that this is another day that you can progress forward and being the ideal that the Most High has set for you. Are you willing to take this opportunity and squander it? Waste it? Or are you going to take this opportunity and seize it? With that being said, Shalom and peace.